Hello there, and this is Pascal Parent of Home Automator, and today's quickie is about SSH and terminal. We do not have natively any SSH or terminal within Home Assistant. Now, why is this a problem? From time to time, we need to tweak things, and often the terminal and SSH, which is a remote terminal, is the way to go about it. So what we're going to do is we're not going to delay any further and we are going to go to settings, add-ons, add-on store. And I will remind you, if you do not see everything that I see, it's because your user does not have advanced mode enabled. Let's carry on and we are going to look for SSH. Now you will see that because I've got the advanced mode on, I have two SSH. I will use the advanced SSH and web terminal by Frank. We're going to click install. It's going to take a minute. It doesn't take too long. I will fast forward though. A few moments later. And yes, we are now installed. Things that we want to do, no watchdog, no start on boot, no show in sidebar. Now, I am going to explain to you why a little later. There is protection mode, block elevated system access from the add-on. I would disable it, and I am going to. And you are going to notice that we end up with a big warning at the top. And I'm going to quickly read a part of it. Protection mode is disabled. Protection mode on this add-on is disabled. This gives the add-on full access to the entire system, which adds security risks and could damage your system when used incorrectly. Only disable the protection mode if you know and need and trust the source of this add-on. Yes, I do. It's one of the developers of Nabucasa, so I think, honestly, we can pretty much trust them. What's next? We go to configuration and here we are faced with the options of SSH. SSH is a remote access system and we are going to change the password. And here we are going to put password and save. Now, obviously, I'm not going to leave the password as password, but I'm not going to tell you what my password is. So what we are going to do now is pause and I will be right back after I've updated my password. A few moments later. I've updated my password to something a bit more secure and we are back on the info screen and we're going to hit start. And as usual, we're going to go in the logs. Now, SSH is not a very big plugin and it's part of the embedded Linux subsystem. Because of that, it is very fast to start. You can see that the SSH daemon has started on port 22. There is nothing else to see. That's great. First and before all, why didn't I put it in here? I will tell you that in a second, you have here open web UI, which means that already you are in the most secure environment because it's not obvious. The second thing is when you finish with SSH, you switch it off. It is never on for any lengthy period. It is extremely important to make sure that you do that. We are in the terminal and that is all great, but how do you SSH into the system? Well, it's pretty simple. We are going to minimize this. We are going to come here and we are going to look for terminal terminal and there you should find terminal if you do not have terminal on your machine it is in the microsoft store and install it from there the command is as follows ssh space ha which is our user in this case at and the address which is 192.168.0.123 we are now gonna enter and it is gonna ask you are you sure you want to connect to this and should i create a fingerprint yes and you have to actually type out yes so there we are and we have a fat error code incorrect corrupted mac on input okay this is new a little longer than a few minutes later if you have a problem just enable compatibility mode in the configuration of ssh and restart ssh I just had that and uh, now it's sorted. Okay, so I am going to go and uh, there we are. 
It's SSHHA at uh, 192.168.0.123. And I'm going to say yes. And as I said earlier, we go yes. The password, your super extra secure password that never ends. And there, we are now on SSH and we are on Home Assistant. Okay, so now we're in Home Assistant. And uh, what can we do here? Well, we'll learn that as time goes by. But for today, I'm wrapping up this quickie. This has been a pleasure. Please click on that like button, click on that subscribe button, click on that bell icon to be notified when I put new content up. And I wish you the best of time until we see you again in the next tutorial here on Home Automator. This has been Pascal Parent. Signing off.